Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play The Walking Dead Season 2. We're gonna go ahead and start with Episode 2, A House Divided. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Was this the one where they said... I haven't played in a couple of days. I've had a lot of personal things going on, so... Somebody was alive? Pretty sure it said someone was alive. Previously on The Walking Dead. I'm freezing. Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about coal. I'm gonna go look for more wood. Where's the rest of your group? I I'm by myself. Bullshit. Krista, run! Ow. I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Would someone mind telling me what the fuck is going on here? She was bit by a dog. For all we know, she could be working with Carver. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? You were in the woods with Krista. Please. Oh hey, that was the guy ah. that was with her. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Come this way. Damn it, you get your asses over here, both of you. I... I think he got bit and I went with the bit guy. That wasn't my brightest plan. Yeah, I think Pete got bit. Looking at that now. And I went with him. Fuck. It's like watching a TV show. It's so cool. <laughs> and yes, I know The Walking Dead is a TV show. I don't watch it, though. Well, they shouldn't be able to get through that. On the downside, we can't get through them. What are you looking at? Staring ain't polite. How are you feeling? Well, other than this bite, I'm just peachy. Hand me that there. Oh, God. Oh. Cutting it off won't work. Says who? I knew someone who tried it. Just because it didn't work once don't mean it can't work at all. Pete. 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 Don't do it, Pete. Bleed out like a stuck pig. What are you gonna do? Carry me out of here on your back? Hell. Just... Just give me a minute. Try to get some rest. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'll try to find something to help. What's gonna help at this point? Now, from what I understand, cutting things... Cutting off limbs that have been bit... Um, apparently actually does work from what I've heard from friends that watch the show but 
the one time I ever did, th this is the first time I've ever seen anything to do with The Walking Dead, and so the one time I ever saw somebody cut something off, that was Lee, and it didn't work. And so I think both me and Clementine were both jaded to the idea that cutting off a bitten limb will work. And maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, but I know for a fact that with Clementine, because of what happened to Lee, that she probably wouldn't believe that it would work. Because she'd be... she's seen it not work, so she would be, uh... There's a watch in there. I don't know what I'm looking at. <coughs> Anything in that? Sorry, it's empty. <coughs> Damn. I'll keep looking around. I gave it to that guy, that's right. But anyway, yeah, I don't think that it would, um, that for her, cutting it off would make a difference because she knows she's, from her experience, it doesn't work. So that's what I'll be role-playing it as. Whether it works or not, Clem doesn't believe it would. What's in there? Anything we can use? Give me one of those. Probably tastes like pine tar by now, but I'd smoke a dead coon's tail if you had one. I don't like smoke. We're in the middle of a shit sandwich stack this high, and you're acting like a goddamn government regulator? It's Dude, gross. I'm a kid. <sighs> Give me those. Hey, don't be a prick. You got a light? I'm 11. Why would I? Oh, I have a light. Well, go figure that one. Why Why do I have a lighter? <coughs> well, that tastes about as bad as it smells. Now what? <laughs> we wait. For what? For you to turn and kill me? Oh, duh! I had a lighter in the first episode when I was lighting the fire for Krista, before I got separated from her. I am such a dumb shit. Don't mind me. <gasps> Oh shit. Oh shit. Grab the hacksaw. If I swing it hard enough, maybe I can put the blade in his goddamn skull. Pete? Poke. <laughs> Maybe this was stupid. <laughs> oh, damn it. I feel like ten pounds of shit in a five pound sack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus. Stuck in this can the whole damn day. Sorry if I just you spit into my mic funny? and you heard it. I've been thinking, and I don't want to die. <laughs> I never thought I'd be the kind of idiot to say something like that, but there it is. I'm scared, Clementine. Jesus, I'm scared. You're going to be okay. Oh, at least spare me the bedside bullshit. I'm trying to help. Sorry. Would you... Would you promise me you'll watch out for Nick? I love that stupid kid. No matter what you think. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, boy. but sure. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Been almost a day. They ain't gonna find us. Where are you going? P. 
Kate. I'm not getting out of this. You're gonna have to make a break for it. I'll buy you some time. Pete. Fuck. Thank you. I... Thank you, Pete. You go find my nephew now, right? Wait for my signal. And run straight to the woods. Just I'd, keep moving. I'd stop right. him, but... Uh, I don't have it. There, I, I feel so bad about this. Let's oh. get this over with. Conveniently, there's keys in the ignition. That's nice. How exactly am I supposed to get out of it once it's surrounded by zombies? Get out of my way! That's how. <laughs> I just answered my own question. Episode 2, A House Divided. I gained an accent. A house divided. Now, how long have I been gone? Like a day? Two days? Hi. Clementine, Crappy doctor. are you alright? Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? Alvin. It's been hours. Where are they? Clem! We got attacked. By who? Walkers. Jesus! We all got split up. I was with Pete, but... My God. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there! Get the guns! Ha! <laughs> okay, well... Uh... Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. And just like that, I hate her again. I was gonna say, and then way to make me like her with the get the guns thing, Clementine, I don't get my husband. And can, then... you, can you please watch Sarah? She's um, upstairs. Just distract her. And don't yeah. tell her anything. I'll take care of her. You can trust me. Thank you. You'll be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. And thank you. You're welcome, Carlos. Just when they start to make me like her with that, my husband's out there, get the guns! And then and then she goes and says, that, bitch. Say cheese! Ah! Blinded. I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. It's so cool. Take one of me. Come on, take one of me. Sure. Get me in a good pose, okay? Okay, I'm ready. What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? They're just fishing. I know that's not true. Shit. Sorry. I just need to... Sarah, it's, it's okay, sweetie. She has to be autistic or something. Y you want to see what I found? Sure. Oh, okay, Will that's a gun. Will you show me how to use it? Um... I couldn't find any bullets. If something's wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? Okay, but it's not a toy. I know. First, remember, it's just a thing. What does that mean? <sighs> um, I don't know. I thought it'd be heavier. Okay, what do I do? The most important thing is, don't pull the trigger. 
Squeeze it. She remembers Why? what they taught her. I don't know. You just do. Oh. Okay. What should I shoot? Not don't me. Do that. <sighs> so, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe I could practice outside. There's that tree. Hey, Luke's back. Did she go down here? I get the feeling that's not Luke. Sarah? Are we gonna get attacked by zombies? Sarah! Oh Jesus, that's not- that isn't Luke! That look, looked much bigger than Luke. That's not Luke. That's what I thought. Clem, I think I know him. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. What? Why can't he see you? No. Clem, I can't breathe. Okay, I, okay. I can't okay, breathe. Okay, okay. Shh. You're gonna make me panic. Stop. <sighs> Hello? Lock the door. Shit! Hello there. <sighs> Who are you? Well, actually I'm your neighbor. Neighbor? That's right. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? I'm... Carly. Carly? That's a sweet name. You mind if I come in, Carly? I've been out all morning and I the do heat mind. has got me cooked. Yes, I do mind. Take off your coat if you're warm, buddy. Get out of this my nice fucking place. house. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. We have a big group. Lots. Oh? How big? Dozens. They'll be back soon. And they left you here all alone. They must trust you. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. And a pretty little pregnant lady. I saw them. They're dead. You saw who? Where? Down by the river the other day. Walkers got them. I'm sorry. <laughs> the river? You sure about that? Pretty sure. Well, no offense, but I guess that wasn't them. Because the ones I'm looking for are very careful people. If you say so. I bet he killed those people down by the river. Dude, do you mind? You're rude. I'm trying to get this guy off the scent, but he doesn't seem to be taking the bait. And I get the feeling if he finds out I'm lying, he's gonna be pissed at me. Well, looks like a damn tornado ran through here. Must be like close to ten people with you? I said dozens. More. Yeah. Hmm. Just passing through or you been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. Been here for a year. Is that right? It's dangerous to stay put that long. Surprise you've lasted. I'm a dangerous person. I can tell. Okay. Is it gonna let me go for that knife? Or did it want me to and I Where does this go? It? I'll take it. Oh, I'll take it. Fuck. Did I... Just, I think I missed the prompt to go for the knife, because I'm it's sure nice I could have gone for that. Kinda cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug, son of a bitch. 
What's his name? Carlos. Fuck. Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? Oh, Sarah. Sarah! No. I thought you said nobody's here. I didn't hear I didn't anything. anything. Oh, my God. Fuck. You stay the hell away from her. I'm not a big black guy anymore. I'm little tiny Clementine, so I can't take this guy out by myself. Oh, good girl. I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Who's this? Shit! The picture! My sister. She's dead. Really? Well, I'm very sorry to hear that. He knows who she Thanks. is. Why did I answer that way? She knows- he knows who she is! You have no idea who these people are, do you? I don't know what you're talking about. Let me ask you this. When you met him, how much did they trust you? What's your point? If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? Now, I genuinely actually like Luke, so... Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. And I like Sarah, too. Don't come back! You have a real good day now. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? That's an excellent question. We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. They told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? He calm down. Rebecca. Busted in. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. I didn't open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Did he say his name? I don't remember. I really don't. You don't remember? He had a gun. I didn't want to make him mad. Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? He had a different? mustache. He had a mustache. Like mine, or more like Alvin's? Um, it was droopy. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. Uh, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy, or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. Now, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. I took the picture. It's my fault. No, I asked her to. It's my fault. Sarah. Sweetie, I took the he picture. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving out. And going Calvin, where? Wait. 
We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. Where are we going? Anywhere but here. Into the mountains, maybe. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. We have to find Pete. We'll get him on the way out, Nick. Clementine, you know where he was, right? Oh, Nick. Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Now, you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. It's just a tough time right now, with the pregnancy and all. It's okay. If it's not you I'm yelling at lately, it's Alvin. And then I'm in real trouble. I can handle it. I'm not a little kid. I felt the same way when I was your age. My dad was always giving me shit. And I always thought he didn't know a damn thing. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Wow. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Yeah, probably. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? Why is she suddenly being so nice to me? There. That's where we were. It's just me, or does Nick look a little like Kenny? He's not in here! This was the last place I saw him. Like a younger Maybe Kenny. Maybe he's around here somewhere. Keep your eyes open, and stay in sight. All right, see him? I'm going to go ahead and leave it here on this cliffhanger. I will see you all in the next episode. Ciao.